Good afternoon everyone, how's it going? So let's say you're making a scene in the StarCraft 2 editor where you just want some guys standing around. It doesn't matter why, but they need to stand still, otherwise it won't look as good. Well, bad news, because units in StarCraft 2 love to look around, stretch their arms, and change what direction they're facing, all almost entirely at random. What they love to do is fidget. And we can get them to stop. In the data editor, open your units tab for whatever you're trying to calm down, locate fidget, and give it a double click. This will open a new window with a few fields. A unit can fidget in four different ways, listed in the chance array here on the left. In the value field is a percentage chance that they have to execute that particular fidget, within a time window controlled by the delay max and delay min fields here. What all this comes together to mean is that every x to y seconds the unit will do something. In this case, the zealot has a 20% chance to play an animation, like raising one of its side blades or flexing. It has a 70% chance to idle, which is just performing a basic little head bob or whatever, and it has a 10% chance to turn and face a different direction, the angle and speed of which is controlled by two more fields. Now, importantly, we can see that it also has a 0% chance to move, meaning that it never will. However, if we go look at a neutral critter like this Lyote, we can see that it actually has a 60% chance to move anywhere from 1 to 4 map units. This is what lets them casually wander around maps and get in the way of your base building. But that's the only one that has any real gameplay effects, so feel free to change the others to suit your needs. Okay, turn might matter if you're doing something like the ghosts with vision cones in Novardops, but if you've got those working, you probably know more about this than I do. So, there are a lot of potential applications for changing these various values, but if you're just looking to get units to stand still when you expect them to, just drop all the values up here to 0, or set idle to 100, which should accomplish the same thing. For safety, I also like to set turn angle to 0, because the editor is weird and sometimes they just turn anyway. Or, if you did want a more active character, set animation up higher, and suddenly these zealots just love showing off or go crazy and have them move around. This is actually a pretty easy way of getting a crowd shot or something, just lots of random movement you don't need to do anything to plan out. So yeah, fidget values. A small thing, pretty simple, but you can get some good control of your cutscenes with minimal effort. Alright, till next time.